Smells like race gas. You guys voted for it to go on. We have to listen. We're throwing this bad boy on the dyno. What's going on JR Garage? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage. So today's focus is the green car. We have a lot to do on it today. Today's the day where hopefully we are going to align the car. Will it go back into alignment after the accident? And will we be able to get the car to start without using the fuel jumpers that we're using currently? We're gonna go over to a buddy of ours who has a shop. He has all the fancy computers. Lara computer, the Lamborghini computer that's like $10,000 or more. They're gonna plug it in and hopefully reset some things so that the immobilizer problem we're having goes away. That's the goal at least, but for starters, Kristen's gotta back out the McLaren. Haven't really fully revealed to you guys the new carbon fiber wing we put on this. It's a full carbon wing, way more aggressive than before. So Michael from Initial Detail actually did a buff on it because we bought it used. It wasn't perfect, but he got it looking just about good as new, but we don't have to pay the good as new price. I mean, this we got for a huge discount. As you know, we're all about saving money. So it looks phenomenal. Yes. Just the bigger wing of like the 675 LT or something, but then also the carbon, to match perfectly and, and complement the carbon canards in the front and the big carbon splitter, carbon everywhere. Here's a look at those wheel well liners and carbon that we did once again. So anyway, this really ties in the entire car and uh, I think it looks really good. So comment down below. All right, Christian, let her rip. Cold start. <laughs> All right, now time for the main event. But remember, this car, the point of today's video is to get this car going without having to jumper those fuel pump relays. So literally, listen closely, guys. Fuel pumps aren't running, even though they should be now. But if I go like this and plug this one in, if I can find it, there, boom. Now they start running. Then we got to get the other one. See, there we go. Yep. Now they're both going. And now we're good for a startup. All right, Carson, hit it. Here we go. Hopefully, we can fix this and not have to do that every time we start it. That's the goal of today's video. Alrighty guys, it's go time. Oh boy. One week later. Alrighty, what's up guys? So it's about a week later now and we just got a text from Kyle saying the car is ready to be picked up. Everything is operating as it should and you guys are free to come get it. So, boom. That's awesome to hear, can't think of enough. If this is really all back in business, I'm gonna be so, so happy. Because if you guys remember, we were having the problem where the fuel pumps would not run. When you... We were uh, wondering about like the alarm system, the immobilizer, because we know that that mm -hmm. kills the fuel pumps on cars, and maybe with the battery going so so dead for a while. But, uh, but we tried reprogramming that key fob, you know, and, and we got the key fob yeah. to work but we were still not having any luck. So it was something more. And so let's go see what Kyle found. And uh, maybe later today we're gonna do an oil change, maybe throw the bumper back on because you guys were demanding the bumper go on. Yes. I'm sorry for the people who wanted it off. Oh. You did not comment enough. Well, actually you did. There were hundreds of you, but I'm sorry. Um, so anyway, he's just moments away. Let's go meet up with him. Be reunited with Car for the first time in a week. Let's go. Oh snap, rolling up. There oh. she is. Obviously, she's out and about, meaning probably she's good to go. <laughs> Boy, does that look good. All right, let's go settle up with them, get them paid, and get on the road. Smells like race gas. All right, guys, here we are. Cannot wait for this. He walked us through it, and we will walk you all through what he had to do to get this puppy back on the road. And so we'll go over that at the warehouse in just a minute. But 
for now. Go, three, two, one. Yeah. All right, time to hit the road, let's go. Just a quick little pull. I see so many comments. They're like, oh, this dude like reacts way too hard to his own car. It's like, blah, blah, blah. Why does he make such crazy reactions? Well, when you drive a twin turbo UGR Lambo, you will see why it's hard to control yourself when it makes the sounds it does, when it goes as fast as it does. Oh my gosh. Well, how she drive? Because we also took care of an alignment while it was over with Kyle. Yes. Because remember the, the rear wheel was uh, found an impact. How did it sound is the question. Oh, oh my goodness. It sounded so good. Especially just okay. this last little bit. I was way in front of you. Just here. And jet I engine heard spooling. jet engine spooling up behind me, coming for me. Oh and that still was nowhere near full throttle. Guys, we literally need an airstrip for that. Yeah. Completely open, straight away, no speed limits, because I did a little pull there and I looked down and I'm like, okay, on the brakes. That was a lot bigger number than I thought. So and now with the alignment, everything's in check. And one fun fact for you guys. So we're headed down to Apex, their track down in Phoenix, where they have like a half mile or three quarter straight. <laughs> so you better bet we're gonna open it up down there. But we want to do it in a safe, legal environment. So stay tuned for the next video on a full throttle rip. But in the meantime, let's either get put on this bumper or get doing an oil change. But the car is back. Thank you, Kyle. We're back in business. Thailand, European. They did an awesome job and the car is safe and sound. Back where it came What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They can weigh me down I wanna live inside the upside down For a minute and pretend Honey, I'm a perfect end all right guys, starting to jack up the Lamborghini because it is time to get the new, I mean, what am I saying new? This is the original bumper, but it's been a month since we've even looked at this bumper. We're, we can't remember what condition it was in. We're not sure if it needs to be repainted or if there's any nicks in it. Obviously, here's a scrape. Looks like a little crack here on the corner of the carbon, but um, it should be good enough to go on, I think, but let's kind of dig, dig yeah. it out of here. It's time for it to go back on. I'm sorry. I put up a poll on Instagram and you guys voted for it to go on. We have to listen. Okay, here we go. Don't hit any expensive cars. Alrighty, so uh, yeah, I definitely forgot about this. <laughs> this is definitely what hit the curb. Um, other than that, I mean, the actual bumper itself, come on, just be dirt. Uh, yep, that's just dirt. So the bumper itself, the cover up top is good, but the diffuser may either need to be repaired or replaced. What do you guys think? Can we repair this? or would we have to replace it? So before the bumper goes on, we obviously have to do the oil change because not that there's a ton of miles on this oil, it's just that it's like three years old. So we yes. want that gone. And also it'll be much easier with the bumper off because the oil flow through is relocated there to, uh, to the back. So either we take off the wheel and do it when later on when the bumper is on or now. Might as well just do it now. Easy. So Christian, what do we got over here oil wise? Uh, UGR requests a specific 20 weight 50 racing oil and their oil filter. We got all these parts the other week. Heavier weight racing oil. The racing oil also adds lots of ZDDP and stuff. Uh, I like Valvoline because it has a lot of ZDDP. I think they were saying mobile one, whatever floats your boat, a racing filter. Sweet, and then you said there's two drains. Unlike our LP, which has what, six? That was the yeah. biggest pain in the butt. Yeah, that one has a bunch too. It has a bunch, uh, just because I guess there's a bunch of different chambers 
By the way, uh, Kyle and the guys over there cleaned up the car, so for the first time, it doesn't look like a barn find. Uh, we are gonna go through and do like a polish and make it look 100% perfect, but it, I mean, it already looks pretty darn good as it sits right now, but we'll go through and make it look as good as it can. Show you guys what we're working with. There she is. If you didn't see one of our last videos, we talked about the specs. So there's four tunes on this car. Number four kill mode is 40 PSI going into third or fourth gear, I believe, and then fifth and sixth as well. So be sure to check out our previous videos if you've never seen anything uh, with this car so far. We have a bunch of good content that we filmed previously, but of course now with the oil change and the bumper going back on, things are happening. We're about to get plates for this car. It's gonna be 100% legal, ready to go. We can drive to car shows and have a whole bunch of fun with it, so stay tuned. And without further ado, let's get to work on this oil change. All right, let her rip, tater chip. Boy. Run, hot Never oil. goes well. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, hold up. I had no idea Christian bought these. He bought Verde Ithaca gloves. Right, and I forgot to use them on the first drain plug, but here we go for the second. Guys, come on. He deserves props. To that. I, hold them up to the paint. Let's compare. Yo, what the heck? Oh. Verde gloves. All right, we're going to sell these. We're going to drop ship these on Shopify store. One fun fact, the oil is green. If you guys can see, literally green oil going in the car. So we got green gloves, green oil for a green lime green. I like it. One quart down, five to go. Then we start it up for a minute. Let it run for a bit so it can go from the reservoir into the engine, and then that'll drop back down, and then we can top that off. Fire in the hole. Three, actually no, no fires. Three, <laughs> Three two, one. <laughs> Well, check that out, guys. The bumper's back on. Not quite. We just kind of set it on there just to see what it would look like, but we still have to play with the diffuser, maybe repair the carbon down there with the scrape over there. And But we just kind of want to throw it up there to see what it would look like and kind of mock it up. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to look really good. Despite it looking awesome without the bumper, it's time for it to go back on. Well, this is your guys' last chance to maybe say bumper off and get those uh, get those comments in there, or if you say that you were definitely right, true, and the bumper does belong on. True. There. Literally one last shot, guys. Comment now to save the bumper from going on if you really want it off. Let's hear it in the comment section down below, but regardless, anyway. So the truck video, that's coming next. The full yes. bulletproofing review, that's mm -hmm. gonna take a long time to edit, but the truck is back. It's literally parked right around the corner. Yes. Wait till you guys hear the turbo whistle oh, and yes. how it drives, it's insane. Can't wait to show you guys what we did with that specifically and the rest of the truck. It really came out awesome. Can't mm -hmm. wait to take you in depth to what we tackled on the truck. Yes, and speaking of future videos, the video right after that is probably, most likely, gonna be the new supercar reveal. So if you guys haven't guessed what car we bought yet, drop in the comment section down below. The only two hints we're giving is it's Italian and it's got a V12. It's our by far most expensive uh, supercar yet and it's a big, bad machine. So uh, stay tuned for that. And then in the meanwhile, the last week we've been, you guys have seen, if you're following us on Instagram, you would have seen a lot of what we're up to. If you're not already, please do that. We, we post a lot of behind the scenes stuff. One of those things was the Nikola World event. Yeah, so Nikola World 2019 happened in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we were invited out to it. And wow, they unveiled their Nikola 2 and Nikola Trey semi trucks, and they unveiled a uh, electric, off-road UTV razor kind of thing. That was super cool. Yes. And an electric jet ski. So are these just like any kind of semis or what kind of semis? This one makes it really cool. Oh, that's right. So either fully electric or hy hydrogen electric. Whoa. So just refuel with hydrogen in a matter of minutes and be on your way again. And I think hydrogen is really cool and not just from a electric car, electric truck perspective, but mainly from an energy storage perspective. So with all these solar powered farms and wind turbine generating, all this electricity, it needs to be stored somewhere and there's not a lot of room on the grid. So hydrogen would be an awesome way to store 
for all of that electricity, especially when uh, more renewable energy is captured. Yeah, very interesting uh, technologies going on at the company. They're located, they're gonna be headquartered here in Phoenix, which is super awesome, right? Right yeah. around the corner when we get all settled in here. So that that's super neat. And uh, they have a really, really awesome team working on everything there. They brought everyone out on stage and the event was hands down amazing. The yes. food, the <laughs> venue, the entertainment, the, just everything, top notch. So follow the company, see what they're doing. Yeah. We'll drop a couple articles, maybe their website down below. You can see their technologies that are emerging. And they showed us around the trucks. We met with the CEO, Trevor, uh, the, yeah. the governor of Arizona was there. Like really, really cool stuff. They knocked it out of the park. And the coolest thing to me is those power sport applications for electric. Uh, power yes, trains. an electric razor. He got a ride in one. I'll put it in that clip now. What do you guys think? Cool. Do we need to pick up an off-road electric vehicle? It was super cool. It's like a supercar for the dirt. So anyway, that was neat. And uh, last but not least, speaking of Tesla and electric, uh, Tesla is offering for the next two to three weeks a special incentive for people buying uh, Teslas, and that is 5X referral bonus. So if you guys use our code when ordering your car, you will get 5,000 miles of free supercharging mm -hmm. and you're getting locked in for the 3750 government tax incentive, which will be decreasing to 1725 here in June, I believe. So right around the corner. So if you want to take advantage of the full tax incentive and get 5,000 miles of free supercharging and help us in the process, it's an awesome program that Tesla has. It's always updating, but right now is the best time to get in because normally it's a thousand miles free supercharging. Here you're getting 5,000. So that's pretty awesome. I'll take you coast to coast a couple times. So All get free, in on man. that. Next, 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 next video. We're throwing this bad boy on the dyno. You guys have said it one too many times. That car does not make that much power. Put it on a dyno. Well, on a dyno it goes. We got an all-wheel drive dyno right around the corner and they're willing to let us run the car. So we're about to find out. A thousand of them on the 93 tune. So we'll see. So also, also, the fact that it went back into a line perfectly yeah. obviously indicates that everything structurally is good with this car as we anticipated and it drives awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. A lot of exciting content coming to the channel as we just described. So like the video if you enjoyed it. Like the video if you like green twin turbo Lamborghinis. We'll see you in the comment section down below. Take care, have a good rest of your night. See ya.